why I don't have a Patreon donate page, and I never will. Had a good email uh, just a few minutes ago from a guy who uh, initially requested how much you charge uh, for a, an investment review uh, to review his investments. He goes, he has pretty simple needs, blah, blah, blah. And uh, my investment reviews are $500. And he copies the statements in advance, but it will cost $500. Bucks. Uh, he gave me his litany of stuff and uh, ultimately said, yeah, I just don't think I need that um, after all. And look, that's fine. I, the, 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 the thing that's the irony, not for this guy so much, but I hear this a lot. Like, I just want to talk about my investments without uh, the recon recognizing the, the taxes that they're going to be paying if they're not careful. Um, especially this guy, because he lives in the uh, one of the heaviest state tax states, and uh, I, I can see that. But I, I hear this all the time. I don't need financial planning. I just need to look over my investments. And no, and just real quick along the lines of investment review, my friends, I don't offer specific investment advice. I like Vanguard. I like index funds. I like the Vanguard Wellington and a couple others. But other than that, I'm not going to say you should hold in this instead of that. Or, nah, uh, uh, uh. We're going to look at tax loss harvesting. We're going to look at asset location. And we're going to look at fees. Those are three things we're going to do when it comes to investment review. I'm not going to tell you you should own the Franklin Income Fund over the Vanguard Wellesley Fund. Not in the least because I don't. I frankly just don't care. They're both the same, essentially. I just default to Vanguard. Anyway, so he, you know, he told, and that's fine. This guy says, yeah, he does not quite sure he needs a, the $500 thing. I completely get that. But then he said, however, I, and because he, he, I like this guy. He's a good guy. He's uh, contributed uh, money many times on the uh, live streams on the YouTube thing, and that helps me immensely. So, But he said, however, I'd like to suggest that you add a Patreon button to your YouTube channels. It'd be, I'd be happy to contribute because I feel you offer great advice. Um, I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because Patreon, uh, they uh, worked with PayPal when I still can, I still take PayPal because um, I'm not quite sure what the alternative to PayPal is at this point. Uh, with Twitter, all these other guys, Facebook, I think even YouTube, uh, to ban people like Alex Jones. And I frankly don't give two craps what you think of Alex Jones. I'm not going to be one of these guys like, I don't agree with Alex Jones. I, I don't care. I really don't care. But when they... These big firms get together to ban people that, for some reason, have been labeled just too dangerous, too dangerous to have out there in these various tech platforms. I find it, uh, I find it infuriating, frankly. And Patreon did that, and they basically banned PayPal uh, or made PayPal in cahoots, and uh, or maybe PayPal to the Patreon. I don't know. Uh, but an alternative to Patreon is a Subscribestar, and I have a Subscribestar page right here, Subscribestar.com slash Josh Scanlon. Uh, Subscribestar almost didn't survive too after that mess because uh, Patreon uh, and PayPal were working in cahoots to basically ban uh, Subscribestar from being able to accept payments. It was nuts. And I don't know the whole inner, inner workings of it all. I don't know, don't care. Uh, but Subscribestar almost got uh, hammered too. And imagine that. Uh, big companies want to minimize their competition. S stunning, huh? And so because of Patreon, in my opinion, they're, uh, uh, they're, uh, they're fascistic or communistic, however you want to look at it, in terms of their not commitment to free speech. But Josh, it's a private platform. No, it's not a private platform. When they can engage in barriers of entry by essentially each of these guys with their own little thing colluding together, it absolutely is colluding together, to ban people they don't like. That's not private property rights. That's not free speech. It's no different from me picking up my phone and saying, hey, let's talk about Donald Trump, and then Verizon saying, hang it up on me because they don't want uh, that, because Donald Trump has been banned on my phone calls. The exact same thing here. So screw that. Uh, subscribe Star is my alternative, and you can, this is my page here. You can do a one-time donation. Or once a month, I take one. I got nine subscribers who put ten dollars a month in. I I am greatly appreciative of these guys. Have they got anything out of that from their donation subscribe star yet? Um, well, I did give them all access to my two free uh, two audiobooks for free. So hopefully uh, that was a benefit to them for being subscribe star members. Um, once I get my other book out, I'll absolutely give them the free PDF uh, file of it as well. I don't know if it'd be worth their 10 bucks a month. I just don't know. Uh, I take questions from them for sure. Uh, I can't say I, I, I answer the questions uh, uh, religiously, religiously every day, but I certainly get to them on uh, certainly more than a couple times a week. Um, so they will have priority over everything else because they're paying for me in my time. And I appreciate it. I mean, that's 90 bucks a month right there, man. I, that's not chump change. So I'm, I'm very appreciative. So you get, uh, at some point, I'll work around where I give more uh, links and services to, uh, solely to the Subscribestar members. You know, when I get up to a certain amount, I'll probably do 
most of my videos will probably be on Subscribestar as opposed to YouTube at that point. Now, I'm not there yet, nowhere near that, but at some point I'd like to just have Subscribestar and, uh, and YouTube will come secondary. Hey, look, it's 10 bucks a month, man. You can cancel anytime you want. It's not like you're gonna make, make a popper out of you. Uh, but you can do a one-time thing by donating. You can do it as my only thing is 10 bucks a month. Maybe sometime I'll increase that. I don't know, I don't know. What it will do, I just say, uh, you can cancel any times. Uh, there's my man, Matt Christensen. He's on there. I donate to a couple people. I don't actually donate to Tim pool yet. Uh, sticks hammer. I donate to him. I think I donate five bucks a month to him. I'm trying to think of the other guy I donate to or lady. I can't remember off the top of my head. I do two people on subscribe star because I like anyone who will challenge the fascistic mindset of tech and uh, sticks hammer who does not believe in, uh, the same God I believe in, which is, uh, the raise, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, but he's a free speech guy. He's a he he wants capitalism to endure. Uh, capitalism, free speech, and freedom go hand in hand in hand. Absolutely, he wants taxes reduced. Capitalism to endure. Uh, Tim Pool is a left wing guy, but he wants freedom to endure as well. He just likes more safety nets. I don't think I donate to him, but it's another guy I do. I'm drawing a blank who it is. Uh, so subscribe stars more of the libertarian minded folks have come on and these are just a couple guys are on here uh, i don't i make youtube videos. that doesn't mean anything i don't know who these people are i know matt christensen i think i know dave cohen uh but i don't know a, a good fellow i make youtube videos. that doesn't mean anything to me but anyway, we can go on here and uh do, subscribe and 10 bucks a month donate 10 bucks a month cancel it if i ever say something that ticks you off say i'm done with this guy uh, there's a guy named bob Bly. i don't I'm going to pop my own figure out later. I don't donate to him, but I am on his email list. I'll probably get off it because he tipped me off on what he said about climate change the other day, uh, that only scientists have the ability to speak on behalf of climate change. I said, that's that's freaking nuts, man, and that ticked me off. So uh, I'm sure I'll say something to tick you off too. Uh, I am anti-climate change, uh, just insanity, just because, again, it's a – it's a conscious effort to steal my money while limiting my freedom for sure. And that will tick some people off. I get that. But anyone who falls for that, I find to be uh, elementary, uh, infantile, without question. The idea that climate, I, just, I, I find that to be just silly. And so I am anti-climate change as, oh my gosh, we're all going to die. Uh, and so people who go down that road, I don't want anything to do with it because it's so it's just it's so trite. It's so easy to be with a cool kid and say climate change. And so my man Bob Bly, I'll unsubscribe for him. And I guarantee I've lost subscribers because I've said what I just said right there about climate change. I will go down swinging though, fighting climate change, fighting on behalf of capitalism, fighting behalf on behalf of the small guys, challenging the big firms that want to quash and squash their competition. And that's why I don't do subscribe star or I don't do Patreon. I will do subscribe star. So uh, I'll put a link in the show notes, uh, subscribe star.com slash Josh Scanlon with those spaces, 10 bucks a month or one-time donation. I, I'm going to tell you, I'd greatly appreciate it. Can never say you'll get your money back. I just don't know. But if you're interested in, uh, you know, supporting the, the, the support me, this is the way to do it right here. I will right, we'll see you guys next time. And thanks for the email.